Hello, and welcome to another Pack Break install video. Today we're installing an HP 10304 amp air spring kit on a Ford F-350 Super Duty. The estimated install time for this kit is around two and a half hours, but depending on your mechanical expertise, you may be able to complete it a lot quicker. Please read the entire installation manual that came with your kit before proceeding with the install, as this video is by no means a replacement to the manual. You can find your install manual and more at packbreak.com backslash HP10304. All right, let's get started. Park the vehicle on a level surface. Raise the rear axle high enough to remove both rear wheels and attain a comfortable working height. Place two jack stands under the axle as shown. Lower the floor jack until the vehicle axle is supported by the jack stands. Remove the rear wheels. Install the NPT air fitting into the port on top of the air spring. Set the upper bracket and roll plate on top of the air spring and install two 3 8 inch, 24 by 7 8 inch flat head socket cap screw through the upper bracket, roll plate and into the aluminum end cap. Torquing to 20 foot pounds. Unbolt and remove the jounce bumper assembly from under the frame on both sides. Remove the OE bolts and retainer clips that attach the jounce bumper plate to the frame. Using the provided speed nuts, install the retaining clip speed nut with the thread side towards the inside of the frame. With the vehicle being supported by jack stands, Drop the axle or raise the body so the air spring assemblies can be put into position between the axle and the frame. Set the air spring assemblies into position. Secure the upper bracket to the frame by installing two M10 by 1.5 by 50 millimeter flange cap screws through the upper bracket and into the speed nuts that were just installed. Finger tighten the screws to allow for air spring adjustment. Slide the roll plate lower bracket support and carriage bolts underneath the air spring. Allow the lower bracket support to sit on the jounce bumper strike plate. Push the lower bracket outboard so that it sits flush against the leaf spring stack. The flanges on the lower bracket main plate should slide into position on the sides of the leaf spring U-bolts. Slide the roll plate underneath the air spring. Insert the U-bolt through the holes in the lower bracket. Cap with the 3 8 inch flat washers and 3 8 inch 16 nylon lock nuts. Finger tighten the nuts to allow for adjustments. Insert two 3 8 inch 24 by 7 8 inch hex cap screws and 3 8 inch washers through the bottom bracket roll plate and into the air spring bottom aluminum end cap. Leave loose at this time to allow for adjustment. Set the lower axle strap over the carriage bolt located under the axle. Attach with the 3 8 inch flat washers and 3 8 inch 16 nylon lock nuts and evenly torque the axle strap hardware to 20 foot pounds. Torque the U bolt hardware to 10 foot pounds. Torque the upper bracket hardware, M10 to 1.5 by 50 hex head flange cap screws to 38 foot pounds. Ensure that the air spring is aligned vertically. Torque the lower bracket air spring mounting hardware, 3 8 inch to 24 by 7 8 inch hex head cap screws to 20 foot pounds. Check that the brake lines are not making contact with the air spring hardware. If so, it will be necessary to tie the ABS line out of the way using tie wrap so that it will not chafe on the lower bracket carriage bolts. Install the heat shield by bending the two center tabs as shown. Attach the heat shield with the gear clamp supplied to the exhaust pipe to protect the air spring from heat. Install the two fill valves. The most common place to install them is to replace the license plate fasteners with the fill valves. Alternatively, two holes can be drilled in a convenient location. Route the nylon hose to an air spring fitting, cut the hose, and connect to the air spring fitting. Repeat with the other fill valve. Secure airlines with the tie straps provided away from moving items and heat sources. 
Inflate both the air springs to 90 PSI. Use a mixture of dish soap and water on all airline connections to detect any air leaks. If you see bubbles forming, a leak is present and must be repaired. Alternatively, inflate your air springs to a predetermined value, then recheck the pressure on the following day. If one or both air springs have lost any pressure, a leak is present and must be repaired. Retest until no leaks occur. Congratulations, you just completed the install of your AMP air springs kit. If you still have questions or concerns, please contact Packbrick at 800-663-0096 to talk with one of our qualified customer service team reps, or visit us on our website at packbrick.com, which has all the technical support you'll need. And don't forget to register your warranty with us to take advantage of the lifetime warranty on your air springs. For your additional air needs, you can also upgrade your system with an AMP air spring controls, air compressor, or air tank kit. To stay up to date on all Packbrick products, like and subscribe to our channel below. Thank you for watching.